comfortable. Uh, no complaint. This ambient light in here, I wasn't really sure. Going, going around a curve right now. Welcome to another episode of Salty Country. We're in the 2024 Prius Limited first road trip. We're headed back to the farm. Remember, if you want to watch this series of owner reviews on the fifth generation Prius, subscribe and hit the notification bell, share it with your friends. All right, so we're 175 miles or so into a 300 mile road trip. Uh, I'm in the passenger side, Melody's driving. It's comfortable. No complaints. I got plenty of leg room. Um, it's quiet. We had a 2012 Prius. Uh, one thing that I was concerned about was road noise, wind noise, but it's not an issue. It's quiet in this car. We've got a protector in and for the pets in the back seat. So the dogs are crashed, but I'll uh, flip this camera around and we'll look at some of the features in the 2024 Prius. Okay, plenty of leg room. I got my big coffee mug. Melly's got her big bottle of water, fits in there fine. Right now, she has it on the Toyota Navigation. So far, it seems to work great. We've got Waze on, on one of the phones just so uh, it can alert us if the Popo is on the road. But other than that, navigation, the Toyota Navigation works great. The uh, heads up display gauge I call it in front of the driver uh, Melody says she has no issues with seeing everything on there but the climate control the seat heat and seat cool or fan works great this ambient light in here. I wasn't really sure how I would like this. I thought it might be a distraction, but really it just, I know on the camera it's blinking, but in reality, when you're riding in here, it just looks like a blue stripe. Um, I did notice last night when we were in traffic, when, if you're at a stoplight or something like that, it'll like kind of flash to let you know that the traffic's moving again but yeah it's a very comfortable ride you know there's a lot of talk on the reviews about these pillars on each side blocking a lot of your view not an issue uh, not not more so than any other vehicle. You know, all cars have that pillow, uh, pillar, and uh, it's not an issue at all. So we're gonna ask Melody uh, here in a second what her favorite thing so far. All right, let us know what your favorite feature is on this car. As of right now, it's the lane assist with the cruise. Um, I absolutely love it. On the RAV, it was a little jerky, but it is absolutely smooth. As you can see with my hands off, it's keeping me going. Going around a curve right now, and it's still there. It basically does it for you. Yes, you have to keep your hands on the steering wheel because otherwise it tells you to put them back there. But while in traffic, if you're by a big truck or something, it actually moves you away from the big truck a little bit closer to the yellow line if you're in the left-hand lane. And it, 
keeps you straight in your lane. It alerts me if anyone gets over in front of me. It alerts me if someone comes up beside me. I'm enjoying it. It's been very easy to drive and basically drives itself. Yes, I have to make sure my hands are on the steering wheel. Yes, I have to make sure traffic's good, but I have it set to where I won't get too close to the car in front of me. It slows me down and it detects if they're slowing down. It detects if we're coming to a stop. So, how's the comfort? I, I'm very comfortable. My seat is actually very nice. Um, I think it's more comfortable than my RAV. And I thought my RAV was comfortable. So. Um, yeah, I know the passenger seat is comfortable. I got plenty of leg room. We uh, went out to dinner last night with our brother-in-law and sister-in-law and they had plenty of leg room, plenty of head room in the back. So that's another thing I touched on um, that these folks that just review vehicles that don't, act, don't actually own one, they, they kind of... Uh, speak negative about the back seat room but it's it was fine well i made sure i asked them if they were comfortable um if the seats were comfortable and both of them said they were very comfortable and they had no issue with leg room they said that their legs felt fine and the positions that they had them in had plenty of room to move around so that was good since i don't ride in the back seat i wasn't sure how that would be they said it was good. Um, my arms are comfortable with my steering wheel area. I wasn't sure because the steering wheel is so much smaller than it was in my last vehicle, how I'd like that, but I have no issues with it. Yeah, that was one of the complaint was the small stern wheel by the other reviewers, but it's not, I mean, yeah, it lo does look a little bit smaller, but it's not noticeably tiny. It doesn't seem, but, um. Well, and I know that the steering wheel size bothers, and maybe a bigger man or something, it might be a little bit of an issue, but for me, it's not. Um, and I'm, I'm able to adjust the steering wheel up and down, and, you know, closer or farther away, however I want to do it. And I see my instrument panel just fine being able to do it and it's in a very comfortable position for me to see it um, if I was taller it would definitely not be an issue of moving the steering wheel um, someone shorter than me uh, would possibly because I don't know how much further down it would go but they might but they could always bring it up and see through it so, or adjust the seat up yes they can adjust the seat up or down if they're short, because you've got probably uh, got six, five or six inches of headroom. So there's plenty of adjustment on the seat and the steering wheel so you can adjust them so you can see over if you have to. Here's the view out of the front. Great view. No problems. And one of the other compl other complaints that uh, some of the reviewers have mentioned is the back window, the view with the rear view mirror. But Melody says that hasn't been an issue at all. No, not at all. Um, the middle seat is down far enough. I have a clear view out the back window. I have no issues of being able to see anything behind me on either side my mirrors are good if you adjust your mirrors right you don't have that issue anyways and so between the rear view mirror and the side mirrors and then i have luckily i have the alerts around me too but I, even without those i wouldn't have a problem driving this car because i don't have an issue with the back window um Plus, you have the backup camera, so... If I needed a backup camera, yes, I, I, I have it. And, um, you know, 
I enjoy a backup camera. A lot of people still don't use a backup camera because they don't trust them. I don't trust it 100% either, but I like it being there where I can see better through it than, than through any of my windows. So I take the cautions of using both with the camera and looking. But I've had no issues with being able to see. Um, my mirrors are placed in a really good spot where um, I, I'm not really having a mirror uh, issue of being not able to see someone at that, you know, blind spot, blind spot area. Oh, that's good. Now in a parking lot when somebody's walking around, we were, we have a parking lot that we went through yesterday that is very tight. It is one that I absolutely hate being in, but even in that parking lot, I didn't have an issue seeing someone walking or coming around a car or a car coming over. And I thought I might because it's a much lower car than the RAV was, but I... And the cross lane assist when you're backing up seems to work pretty good too. It detects them. Yeah, and the I have a detector in the front too, which also helps out. But yeah, definitely um, having two big trucks. We did park between two big trucks yesterday, and when I was backing out, I couldn't see a thing, no matter how hard I looked. Luckily, with that cross lane assist, I knew no cars were coming or anybody was walking. Um, I didn't have that on the RAV and um, it drove me crazy when I would try and back out. And that was one of the things that I really wanted on this car and I made sure I got. All right, so this has been episode two of the owner review of the fifth generation Prius, the 2024 Prius Limited. Remember, if you like our content, subscribe, share it with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.